Welcome to Definite Mind. In this question, there is a triangle ABC and the length of AB is 8 unit and the length of CD is 6 unit and P is the midpoint of AD and R is the midpoint of BC. Then we have to find the length of PR. So how we will find the length of PR? Before moving to solution, please like, share and subscribe this channel also. Now, to solve this question, first I will draw perpendicular line from R to AB. Let's suppose this point is Q. Okay. Now in triangle CDB and triangle RQB, we can write angle D equal to angle Q, which is equal to 90 degree. And also angle B is common in both triangle. So by angle angle, we can say triangle CDB is similar to triangle RQB. Since R is the midpoint of BC, so by basic proportionality theorem, we can also say Q will be the midpoint of DB. Since these two triangles are similar, okay. If Q is the midpoint of DB, then we can also write AP plus DQ equal to PD plus QB we can write AP plus DQ means this and this if we add then we can also add PD plus QB because AP and PD both are equal so we can write like this and if we add both sides AP plus DQ then this side will be what AP plus DQ equal to PD plus QB plus AP plus DQ we can write okay if we add both side AP plus DQ and now this become what actually this become AB because PD and QB and AP and DQ all becomes AB so we can write here AP plus DQ equal to AB over 2 and AB is 8 according to question so this will be 4 AP plus DQ is what 4 now we can also write in place of AP as a PD since AP and PD are equal so I am writing here PD plus DQ equal to 4 okay it is clear and by basic proportionality theorem we can also write QR equal to what 1 by 2 into CD because RQ and CD is parallel and this is equal to half of this CD length and CD is what actually 6 so this will be 3 unit QR will be 3 now in triangle PQR we can write by Pythagoras theorem PR equal to under root PQ square and PQ is what actually PQ will be equal to this PD plus DQ is what PQ and PQ is 4 so we can write 4 square plus 3 square which will be equal to 16 plus 9 so square root of 25 which is equal to 5 so 5 will be the right answer for this question thanks for watching this video and like uh, subscribe this channel also